Hello, everybody. It's RM here, and welcome to Positive Fandom. Um, as you know, uh, earlier today, I received... Hello, everybody. Oops. It's RM. Sorry, I had it playing on my phone. As you know, uh, earlier today, I received my... Uh, something I've been waiting for for a very, very long time. It almost feels like it's two years. Maybe it's not exactly two years. I'm talking about my HasLab Razor Crest. It came today and I am so happy that I got it um, now, uh, especially with how, um, hey, Tom Jr. Jackson, how are you? Uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm so happy that I got it now, um, right after the end of the Book of Boba Fett season one, um, where it does feel like the Mandalorian was in it a lot. And I can't help but think about all the great times in the Razor Crest. And I'm really glad I ordered this. Um, so it came in, in this enormous box <laughs> with these incredible photographs on the side. Looks just like what you would have if you were um, picking up something in the store. <laughs> and you can see the Razor Crest there and Grogu kind of coming on out of it and <laughs> the Mandalorian and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, there's another, some other figures and things that come with it. Um, hey, Mikey Lito, and hey, Troy Fraselli, how are you both doing? I hope you both are well. Um, I just was showing the exterior of the box because it has so many like really cool things on it. Um, you know, I almost wish I could frame some of this, but um, it has like these really cool photographs of you know what you could do when you play with it, um, which I completely intend upon doing uh, with this set. And it feels like I've waited forever for this thing. Uh, for this HasLab um, razor crust and the picture on the back. I wish I had four or five more of these so I could color it in myself and just kind of enjoy it. But you can see Kuil here along with the IG-11 and of course the razor crust here in, a, in the, the the version that doesn't have color. It really is Maximilian uh, Radovich. It, it certainly is the best ship. I mean, it really was like a home for Grogu and for Din, wasn't it? And it's not that I don't care for the new ship. I know that this one got blown up and everything, but um, it doesn't really matter. I still love the Razor Crest. I think it's a very special uh, ship. And, um, you know, it's something that I, I personally don't think I could ever, uh, you know, forget. It does come with a stand, as you can see. It's, this is the uh, black and white or version that doesn't have the color in it there. Oops. <laughs> it's so big. And, of course, this is what the, the box looked like. Um, here. Hey, Efren Guzman, uh, good afternoon to you. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm really excited about this Razor Crest delivery. I couldn't believe it. I got the email and the email had said, oh, by the way, hey, Outcast Creative. Wow, wow, wow. How are you? <laughs> yeah, the Razor Crest has finally arrived. You can see how cool this looks like. I I'm almost want to get a poster that has this, but let's get to it. Let's get to... Um, Thank you for everybody who's here. I just had to, I did a very, very quick uh, five minute video this morning. And then I had to, I had an appointment and I could not uh, stay and, and finish the stream because I had an appointment at 12. So I kept that appointment. And now of course it's, uh, <laughs> Alcast creator says, damn, I need this ship. <laughs> I have to say, um, yeah, the original price Efren uh, was around $400. Um, and, uh, it says, do you have the Kenner figures of the Mandalorian and Cara Dune? I think I do actually, it comes with quite a few figures. I don't have one of the figures I have in a box somewhere, but this actually, they gave figures with this, uh, particular unit as well. So they'd sent in a figure over, Hey, single songwriter. How are you? Um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. They'd sent some figures with it as well. And there's a lot to look at it. You know, like there's so many pieces and so many things. And I just kind of wanted to just enjoy the moment of opening it for the first time, which I did for five minutes earlier today, but I'm going to kind of do it again with all of you guys here just to kind of enjoy it and, um, you know, savor every moment that I have with this razor crest um, and all the wonderful things that it comes with. So I'm just going to put this down over here. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Live TV, people, live TV. <laughs> um, and I just want to start off with, uh, it comes with a manual. It's a good old manual of how to assemble it. Um, I have not read the manual, but, um, you know, it's it's super easy to put together. This thing is like 
literally super easy and it you know has the instructions of how to put it together and where everything's supposed to go um <laughs> it, I, I just can't even believe it so earlier uh this morning as i said i went ahead and started to put together uh the body at least of the razor crest so it's so big i can't wait to show it to you uh yes it is the second take um <laughs> It's not light at all, <laughs> like it's heavy. So I just wanted to like show it to you. Um, if I could back up all the way, it's partially assembled. Um, uh, this is what it looks like from the side. This is the front of the crest. I'm gonna move it a little bit closer to the camera so you can kind of get a better view of it. I haven't fully assembled it yet, but um, I will hopefully. You can kind of see it here. So once you guys get a close-up look of it, the detail is beautiful. The paint on the side of the fuselage is very, very nice. I don't know if it's called fuselage, but um, for a razor crest, um, I'd say it's about maybe maybe six pounds, maybe seven pounds, maybe maybe more than that actually. Um, <laughs> and Efren Guzman says, "I pray the ship makes a." A return in season three. What a waste to destroy it. Yeah, I agree that it was a waste to destroy the Razor Crest. Um, I kind of wish they hadn't done that. Um, I really wish that that was not what happened in the story. But, you know, this is what they chose to do. So, you know, this is what we have. Um, and as you guys already know, there are parts on the crest that open up. Do I know how to open them? No, but I just assume you just pop them open. I'm not good at this. Um, <laughs> And let me see if I can pop it open. I wonder if there's like a release hatch or something, but it is so big. I can't get over this thing. Look at the size. <laughs> and I don't even have it uh, assembled yet. Um, the Outcast Creative says, oh, I love that, that damn thing, $400. That's heading for a potential divorce cost item. Well, you know, I looked online and I noticed that people are selling them for $1,000. So, you know, it's really worth it. I have to say this thing is, is unbelievable. Now it's going to take me a second. I don't know whether the pieces pop open or how. Yeah, it is huge. It is really huge. I Even holding it, it's actually heavy. Um, it, Troy says, um, oh, Maximilian says, I also think they blew it up with one shot. So it's not fair to say it's weak at all. It was parked. So Din just parks his ships from now on because I don't believe the new one is stranger than this. And uh, Troy says, I never noticed before how much it looks like the Firefly from Firefly. Sure, I'm sure it does. Uh, I loved Firefly. I really loved that series. I thought it was amazing, an amazing series, you know? It's just absolutely remarkable to show you the underside of it. It is, it's very weighty. I mean, I was going to thinking of suspending this from the ceiling, but I don't think I can do that. Or maybe I'd have to use like a very strong cable to do this. Um, so I have to really think about it. Um, there's another question. So there are, are parts like for the, oops, I'm actually pushing the camera. I didn't know it. Um, uh, it says, ever notice, yes, single songwriter says, every time I see a razor crest, I can hear the flute intro from the show. Yes, me too. Me too. I wish I could play it, but they pull down the video. <laughs> and this is like one of the, um, the uh, landing gear parts. One of the landing gear parts. So let me see if I can put that in here. I don't know if I can find where it goes. Do I remember where it goes? Um, <laughs> and Efren Guzman says, Artem is one of the most beautiful, it is one of the most beautiful ships ever. That's true. Hope you make a good display on a mount or a coffee table. Curious where you're putting it. Yeah, I, this is a good point. Hey, Darth Plato, thank you. It is pretty hot. Um, Max says, if you look at a Naboo shuttlecraft, it actually looks like a cleaner razor crest. Yes, it does. Prompting people to think it was a modified version of one. And I could see that. I could see that. Um, Darth Plato says, I'd rather, I'd rather see another Razor Crest than a Nabu fighter. Yeah, yeah, me too. I agree with you on that one. Um, Max says, having him having a prequel ship is actually cool, but man, I'd want him to have a space van and not a racer. 
Yeah, I was really concerned when they had the racer, whether or not that meant that um, he was going to be doing pod racing. And there really is nothing wrong with pod racing. I just personally didn't want to see that again, but that's okay. Um, you know, we don't really know what's going to happen in the future with Mando and with uh, Grogu. So, um, you know, we shall see. You can see the engine. It's like a uh, RNG uh, part in there. So let me see if I can put, oh yeah, I wanted to show you. It also comes with, um, there's so much in here. Um, so someone was asking about, uh, someone was asking about the figures that it comes with. <laughs> and I noticed that it came with, uh, or at least earlier this morning, I noticed that it came with uh, carbonite, people frozen in carbonite, which I love. Like, I kind of miss that we're not getting that with the Naboo Eraser. I definitely love the Bounty Hunter spoils. Hey, Riley Reviews, how are you? Gosh, thank you for showing up for this. Um, I really like that we're getting these Carbonite uh, figures. Just going to show the... I haven't put the feet on yet, but here it is. And it is huge. I did put these uh, fuselages or engines on the side, um, just so you know. But I'm just going to show you, Riley... <laughs> It is, it is a large, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's worth every penny. You couldn't make this for, for the price that they charge. You can't. It's just too intricate. The, the way it looks, hey, Cabo 56. Hi, from Mexico. How are you? Um, you couldn't make this um, if you tried. Or maybe, maybe some of you out there who have more experience with making um, models from scratch, but it's so big that even if you got the parts, maybe if you could go ahead and, hey, thanks. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I thought you'd appreciate it, Cabo 56. And thank you, Riley Reviews. Looks amazing. It's a pleasure to meet you last week. Yes, it was a pleasure to meet you <laughs> as well. Um, and Single Songwriter says, the interior details also looked amazing from what I've seen online. So I'm going to show you as much as I can. <laughs> and I'm not lying. This thing is actually kind of heavy. <laughs> But I'm enjoying it so much. Let me see if I put it down. Can you still see? I'm going to move the camera down just a bit. You can kind of see. I wanted to make my table so you could see everything better, but I'm not, I don't have a professional setup. But in here, there's also some figures. Like this is a Jawa that it comes with it. He's a Jawa. Um, I almost don't want to take him out of this. <laughs> so it comes with a Jawa. And you also get... Um, Oh, of course. Of course you get Grogu. You get a little Grogu. We knew that, right? We knew we were going to get a little Grogu. Oh, look at his little face. He's so sweet. So we get the Jawa and a Grogu. And as I, I probably mentioned, I think I have the Mando inside. I don't, I, I can't get him right now, but I do have that. Um, and then there's another carbonate uh, creature. Poor guy. <laughs> He's going to go in the cargo hold. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you would take it out, uh, Darth Lado? Uh, all right. Yeah, maybe I will take him out. Maybe I will take him out. So um, so there's more. There's actually more Carbonite figures in here. Um, this is so amazing, guys. I have to tell you. Oh, oh there's some poor lady. She's in Carbonite. <laughs> this is so awesome. And there's one more here, this guy. I've never seen, other than in the Mandalorian um, season one, I've never really seen a whole bunch of people in, Man in Carbonite before, other than, of course, Han Solo. And, you know, how that goes. But, oh, okay. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> now, i got to show you. <laughs> yeah, she did look like Amy Sedaris, didn't she? Maybe she, um, maybe Pele got in trouble. Maybe Pele got in trouble at some point and she ended up in Carbonite, right? No, nah, she'd never do that. But um, <laughs> it says it's coming with no Grogu. Yeah, if they didn't have a Grogu in there, that would have been a, a complete disaster as far as I'm concerned and not cool. Um, you know, they showed the stand for this thing and look, at it's like enormous. You have to put it together um, to support this vehicle because it is huge. Um, so anyway... There's something else I, I absolutely have to show you guys. And that is this uh, intersection here, which I'm going to hold up. And um, it kind of closes. Like if you, if you press this button here, it pops open. 
this comes out and then you can see inside and I'm actually going to move it so you can see inside this the top of the lid has the holders for the carbonite pieces so you can hold your carbonite uh things there so let me just put that down for a second here and then you can see in the inside of this figure or sorry model you can see the inside cavity area here if I turn it this way um you can see the back part Maybe I, I could use a light in here, but I don't have one. But on the side, it has some really cool features. Like, for example, you can see some of the supplies and there's even a weapons cabinet. And this is obviously the um, the the back entryway that opens. Wow, this is heavy. <laughs> so you can see inside. And I'm going to go even closer. So if you go up the ramp, you can see inside of it. Oh, that's actually not a bad shot at all. Oh, look, you can see the lavatory. You can see the latrine. <laughs> look at this. Oh man, look at the detail inside. It's actually so heavy that I can't hold it for a long. <laughs> um, so some of the other questions are, um, uh, they they exist in the Old Republic gang. I've seen entire bolts of frozen prisoners from Bell Savis. Yeah, I wish I'd played Knights of the Old Republic. I'm assuming that's what you're referring to, Darth Plato. Um, Max says, I'd have to hang it for looks and space reasons. Yeah, that's what I want to do, Max. And then if I want to take it down from the um, from higher up, I would do that when I want to. Um, and Efren says, so do you have the whole collection? Do you have IG-88 uh, as well? I don't have IG-88, I only have IG-11. Um, and the Outcast creator says, sweet, great detail. Is there a baby Yoda bonk? Oh, that's a good question. Um, yes, it looks like there is. <laughs> it looks like it's uh, way in the back here. Let me just see something here. I gotta stick my finger in here and see if I can remove it. Um, yeah, I think there is. Just give me a sec. Um, this plate pops out. It's like a plate that's inside of it. And then, um, yeah, there is a baby Yoda bunk. I'm gonna see if I can um, use the light on my phone to illuminate the interior, which doesn't make any sense because I don't know how you guys would see this. But um, yeah, there is a baby Yoda bunk. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to. Um, Hold it up again and you guys will be able to see it easily. Um, and I'm gonna lower that door, the receiving door, if you will. And if you look next to the lavatory, if you look next to the lavatory, you'll notice that there is a bunk in there next to the lavatory. And that is the Baby Yoda bunk <laughs> where Baby Yoda is. Um, <laughs> All right, I hope you guys can see it. It's right next to the toilet, which is that silvery thing sort of like in the end there. And you can see the Baby Yoda bunk in there um, underneath where Baby Yoda would be. And I'm assuming that blue thing on the side, which I can't point to, is probably the weapons cabinet, which I kind of want to open up and take a look at. Um, wow. This thing has so much stuff in this. Um, yeah, it is a weapons cabinet. It opens upwards though. Um, so it's not so easy for me to really show it to you, but it kind of opens upwards. Um, I have to say this is, uh, much more, uh, detailed than what I thought it was going to be. I mean, I saw the prototype pictures and everything, but this is a lot more detailed than what I thought it was going to be. Um, you know, even from, from this piece, which is the top plate, um, all the detail on it is unbelievable. Um, just looking at it, I, I can't get over how amazing it is. And I don't even have it fully assembled. So these, um, these carbonite plates, you know, obviously they fit right into here like this. And um, yeah, if you get frozen in carbonite, this holds it at the top. So it just hooks in there, I hope. Yeah. It hooks on there. So on the top, you know, you just have your, <laughs> when they're offloading them, you know, you can offload them literally like this and they slide out. 
to whoever has to take them. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. Um, single songwriter says um, you need you need just a mix Mayfield. Um, <laughs> Uh, let's see, where is this? You need to put it where it can seem when you're in the lives and the other streams. I will try and do that Cabo 56. I will try and do that. I'm going to see if I can get out of this closet because I'm actually in a closet right now. And it's very hard to kind of, you know, uh, do things inside of a closet this way. Um, but I will certainly do that, uh, in the future. Um, you know, so I can kind of show it off, um, for sure. Um, and uh, Darth Plato says, in space, no one can hear you pee. <laughs> a single songwriter says, um, uh, what does he say? He says, um, you just need a Mayfield figure when he got bailed out by cutting, uh, by his, on out his cutting job by Cara Dune, Mando, and Boba. I thought it was someone else. Oh, Mando moment. <laughs> yeah, really. Um, and Maximilian says, if I was in charge of making toys, like uh, we had back in the day, I'd make one of the ba uh, baby toys that could spit or eat, but it's Grogu can eat green slime. <laughs> well, you know something? Uh, it's funny that you should say that, Max, because um, this reminds me of my brother's Millennium Falcon um, from what year was it? 19, uh, 1980, he had a Millennium Falcon. It was around this size and it was heavy like this. And this reminds me so much of it. Thanks so much, Tom Jr. Jackson. Tom says, uh, that ship looks so cool. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Um, yeah, I can't even believe I own this. Um, I've waited so long for this. And I, um, yeah, my family bought it for me as a birthday gift, I think maybe two years ago, <laughs> almost two years ago, a year and a half ago. So it's been a while uh, since I got it. And, um, or at least since I've been waiting for it, I want to see this front section where they're at. Oh, I got to show this. So, this is the, well, really the cockpit area, which does open up. You press the button, I think, or no, that's the wrong button. Maybe I can open it. Maybe I can't, but, um, you know, usually what happens for me is later on, I find out, oh, that's how you were supposed to open that. <laughs> So I'm sure it pops open like in an easy way, but I don't know how to do it. But the cockpit looks amazing inside. You know, you can kind of, I'm sorry for the reflection, but you can kind of see the seats and everything in the controls. It looks just like what we would see in the show. So I'm really happy with how that came out. Um, <laughs> and it says, do you have a, a hand in carbonite um, to add to the ship? I wish I did have a hand in carbonite to add to the ship so I could, you know, kind of enjoy that. Um, there's a bunch of stuff uh, and weapons that also come with this. And um, what is this for? I don't know what that's for, but there's even more. Um, let me just see something here. Put this down for a second. Whew. <laughs> and then there are these, um, I guess these are the guns, the guns that go on the top. Um, so that would go, where does it go? Keep thinking I might have mounted these on incorrectly, but um, we'll see if it's at the bottom. And I don't think it is, but but there's a direction of how to put it on. I don't remember exactly where where the guns go, but I should be able to look at it until no, I can't look at it until I could never look at it until I have to follow the directions. Now, what else is in here? Um, probably the stand base. It comes with a bunch of of weapons, and they're in this plastic bag. Um, let's see. <laughs> it's a beautiful ship. Thank you so much, Efren. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I actually have, <laughs> I wish it had the egg canister, um, with it so that I could kind of, uh, enjoy that moment when he did that. But, um, you know, like it comes with all sorts of gear and, and accessories that come with it here. There's, um, like a thing to carry, you know, supplies, like a hamper to, for, for the weapons, all sorts of guns, um, additional equipment, all sorts of stuff that you can hang on the inside of the, of the razor crest. I have a razor crest. <laughs> Look at, we have some guns here, some smaller pieces here that would, that would be on the side of the, you know, the weapons cabinet that, um, Mando has. 
it really is remarkable. Um, here's some larger rifle style, rifle style uh, weapons there. And it's actually a full bag. So you could put it all throughout the interior. Um, let's see what we got here. Uh, yeah, yeah, Grogo toys come with a ball. Yes, absolutely. Um, this one, this Grogu, he, he comes actually, you know, I kind of like this Grogu. He comes with a, um, the floating pod. So if you can see it, if I go in close enough, it's kind of reflective, but he actually has a pod that's with him. And, um, I'm assuming that little round thing is a ball, but I can't tell what that is, but it looks really cool. Like I, maybe I can get this somewhere if it's not sold out, but he has his own pod with him. <laughs> And that is incredible looking. Um, yeah, so here's the gun part. And I want to see if I can take out the stand too. This Jawa looks incredible. The Jawa comes with that egg. You remember that egg that they wanted uh, Mando to take? The egg? Uh, Suka. I think they called it a Suka. And it's their off-world Java Elder, it says, from Arvala 7. Yeah, I guess it is Arvala 7. Um, so Mike Alito was asking, is there a little round knob? I think there might be a little round knob. And um, <laughs> uh, let's see. It says, as troll as trolly as I it would be for Kathy, I'd love to see a toy camera of myself made. So it would, <laughs> that's very sweet. Um, Grogu toys come with a ball. Sides, uh, sides by the cockpit. Okay. Sides by the cockpit. Oh. Size by the car. Oh, the guns, right? Single songwriter. Let's see. Looks like it goes here. And yeah, this has to be this way. Okay, that's one. Thank you, single songwriter. Ha Okay, that that's pretty much that. <laughs> um, look around you. Can you form some some sort of rudimentary laugh? Uh, no, I can't. But um, I'm not even quite sure what that is. Uh, guns go on the sides. Uh, thank you, um, single songwriter. Um, obviously, they do. <laughs> and. Um, Max says, I can't wait for the meme photos of this to come out post uh, it being shot. Like just ash and bits and you got to dig through it and find a <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, floating baby stroller. Thanks, Dark Plato. It looks, it looks like the egg from Alien. It does look like the egg from Alien. And Dark Plato says a crate pearl. Uh, Tom Jr. Jackson says, that Grogu is so cute. Isn't he cute? He is a cutie. He definitely is a cutie. So that looks a little bit more uniform. Uh, now that I put the guns on it, it looks a little bit more like the razor crest in the front. <laughs> and Doc Smizzle, Doc Smizzle says, oh, snap, you got the razor crest. Oh, snap. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he was like, you got what I need. It's a razor crest. <laughs> It is. God, you could imagine how excited and happy I was when I saw the email that this was coming in. Uh, Doc Smizzle says, I can't wait to get mine. Yes, Doc Smizzle. It's fantastic. It's even better than what you could possibly imagine. Um, the quality on this is just out of this world. Um, I just can't get over it. It's really incredibly done. Um, I'm just really happy I have this. Um, Oh, is a rotating workplace? Okay, you know what? I'm going to work on that, Darth Plato. I promise you I'll get better on this. Um, Troy Priscelli says, oh, look, the Black Series, the child did come with a tiny little ball. I'm not sure how many other versions did. Okay, well, I'm not quite sure if this one probably does have a ball. It's so tiny, Troy. I'm not quite sure what that little thing is. Maybe that is a ball that's here, like right here. That might be a ball. So <laughs> you may be right, Troy. Um, uh, yes, and Maximus is great. Great pearls, though, were small, found in groupings like kidney stones. 
And that's what they are. Dragon eats the Kyber crystal and is changed in the stomach, but they are smaller to fit in the saber. Uh, the ship is really cool. Congratulations. Thank you, um, Fit Sith Scale Separatists. Thank you so much. Um, so uh, the Outcast Creative says, my previous comment, that's a quote from Galaxy Quest. When Sam Rockwell is advising Tim Allen how to defeat Ganarok, uh, the rock monster, I digress, so I need the ship. I love Galaxy Quest. That was kind of like the perfect parody film. Tom Jr. Jackson says, I love Grogu and the Jawa um, that, that they come in old school Kenner bots. Yes. And the whole Razor Crest came in that. It's just unbelievable. In culture, the Crate Pearl could be used to use as a lightsaber component. Yes. I thought that's what they were going to do with the Crate Pearl in um, in the Mandalorian. That's what I thought they were going to do with it. Um, <laughs> and uh, Tom was saying he thinks that little thing is a little cookie for Grogu. Maybe. Troy Paselli says, actually, I think it's the cup he drank from. The black figure had that too. Um, interesting. Yeah, uh, Tom, yeah, it brings back memories. Single songwriter says, yeah, that's his little bowl. Um, it's so tiny, guys. It's so tiny in that little thing, you know? Um, so now I have the legs that need to go on here. There's a front leg as well. And the front leg, where's the front leg? So these are the side legs. These are the side legs. Um, and I know I'm pretty sure they go underneath underneath the crest. Um, and I think they're adjustable, I think. Um, oh, no, no, they should go in this way, right? On the sides like that. I look at my, <laughs> how to put it together, right? Um, so let's just look at it here. Um, and it says, it's like one of the first things that you put on. Oh yes, there's a flip, there's a flip top thing that you have to do first to do that. So I think I might end up doing that. I will flip it up underneath the razor crest. So I have to turn it over. And after I turn it over, let's see, I should be able to put that in there. So there's two little tabs at the bottom somewhere. Um, but where? <laughs> <laughs> I can laugh about this because um, I've been asked to do uh, videos where you put stuff together. And I kind of joked about that and said, well, you know, it might take a week for me to finish putting something together. But okay, I see where the, the thing is now, I think. All righty. This flips up like that. Okay. And then um, we have one. I don't know which one goes where, but let's see. Okay. Yep. That's how it goes in like this. I guess it folds down or that just pops off. I have no idea. It just pops in there somehow. If I put it on right, I think I put it on wrong. Would, yeah, it would go that way, wouldn't it? Yeah, because that's the bottom. Let's see this way. I sure hope so. And then the other one. Let's see. Yeah, that side. I can pop that open. I can't see what I'm doing, but it's okay. Okay, so we have the legs on. See what this looks like after I have the legs on. That's snapped in. Then there's a front section, and it says, "Yeah, it, that's why I grow the bowl." Um, this is nearly as complicated. No, it's not. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's not. Um, yeah, Rob didn't get the razor crest. Yeah, he never got it. Um, I'm very surprised he didn't get this. <laughs> Um, maybe he forgot about it or something, but he never ordered it, which I'm very surprised by. Um, so I'm going to have to show it to him tonight that I have it. Um, and I'm sure he'll be like, what? <laughs> okay. All right. So we have that on. Okay. So it's coming along, starting to look like the razor crest with the, 
with the uh, feet on, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe I can move this uh, backwards just a little bit more. That'll give us a better view. Okay. Maybe more towards me. Yeah. So now we can see it. Oops. <laughs> and I could put the top on, but I just want to keep it open so you can see what it looks like on the inside. And I have the, the guns there. Finally, the guns are there. And the landing gear is there. That's starting to look like the Razor Crest, isn't it? <laughs> you can hear the music. <laughs> and um, Tom says, and where, and where is Rob with Campy at home washing his tights? Oh, come on. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But um, <laughs> this looks amazing, guys. I can't get over how heavy this is. <laughs> God, it's heavy. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see how exciting mine is being delivered today. I know, right, Mary? I know, right? Oh my God, you're gonna love it, Mary. You're gonna love it. Oh God. Oh my God. I'm gonna put this uh, top section back on here. Let's see, goes the other way. And put this in there. Does it go like that? Yeah, I think so. Oh, wow, it's heavy. It is heavy. <laughs> and I'm not just whining. Look at this. Look at this, guys. I haven't even opened the side portion yet. All right, let me see if I can open the side portion. Whew. Okay. It's right here. I think this panel flips up or something like that. Like it's popping open. It wants to come out. So come on. I wonder if there's a release button or something. Whew. Just look. Let me read the instructions so I don't break it, right? Okay. Um, this says uh, to open the side, it's very simple. You just, oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, you just pull it down. The panel comes off, so how, maybe I should just push it through. I'll push it through the top. At least that way I won't be breaking my nails. And yes, I did say that. <laughs> okay, the side panel pops off. <laughs> hey, Martino, Simone, hey, how are you? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and let's see if I can get this side down. Yes, the, the side gantry, I guess you would call it. So here it is. Um, you can see inside of the razor crest. Look at how big this engine is. Oh my God, look at this guys, look at this. This is the inside. This panel comes off, it just pops off. <laughs> yeah, I know, Mikey Lito. I know it's funny to watch, trust. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> well, I just thought, I just wanted to share this moment with you guys because I can tell my mother about it. She'll say, oh, that's nice. That's so nice that you got it. You like it? And I'll say, yes, I like it. And I mean, she'll say, oh, that's so nice. I'm so glad you like it. But that'd be the end of the discussion. <laughs> hey, <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, this is so incredible. Um, for those of you who've picked up one of these razor crests, um, it really is an amazing, amazing um, ship to have. Uh, just, it's really amazing. Mary, I can't wait for you to get this. Um, <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you are well, Martino. Um, <laughs> and this side panel just popping off like that. That wasn't supposed to happen like that, but this is what the interior of the panel looks like. And you can see the detail that they put in this, you know? <laughs> and that's where you could put a lot of your, um, the guns and accessories that come with this. Woo, this is heavy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's right. Mom will see Grogu and she'll say, oh, <laughs> you know, it's he's so cute. Oh, thank you, Mikey Lito. You know, I'm so excited to get this thing. I feel like I've been waiting forever for this razor press. Um, I'm so happy it's here. And, you know, seeing all the different parts to it 
and being able to put Mando and Grogu in this finally um, is wonderful. Um, hey, <laughs> um, Troy says you have to share this video with your mom and tell and tell you shared opening your gift with all your friends. Yes, I will let her know. She watches all my videos after the fact because if she if, she, if I try to do a video while she's here, she just talked through the whole video. <laughs> so I can't do a video when she's like in the same room. But um, you know, it's just it's just so funny how she is sometimes. I'm just gonna rotate it a little bit so you can see it all the way around. That's from the back. <laughs> You know, I I always knew the ship was big, but um, until I have it in front of me like this, I had no idea it was it was actually this large. Um, I thought it was a lot smaller than this, um, but it actually has a lot of nice room to like live in. It's like their living quarters, isn't it? You know, like I could live in the ship. I mean, I I don't want to live in the ship, but you know, if this had to be it, you know, I wouldn't feel so horrible about it. I would just say, oh, wow, is this where we're living? Okay, fine. You know, I can deal with that. But, um, you know, I think it's ideal for a Grogu and for Mando. You know, I can see how they could be very happy in the ship. This feels like it pops off. So put that back in there for now. Okay, so that's in there. And let me just see if there's one other piece. Is there another piece? This might be all the pieces that go onto it. Um... Yeah, let's see if I know how to open up the cockpit. That's the last part that I want to open. Um, <laughs> no, Mary, I don't have a spot for it yet. I certainly don't. I have to figure out what I'm going to do. And I, one of the other members in the chat, I was telling them that my plan was to suspend it from the ceiling, but it is really, it's heavy. So um, if I did something like that, I have to be very careful um, if I were doing that. And it looks like you have, you might have to remove the legs when you put it on the stand. I'm not entirely sure of that, so I have to check that. But I just wanted to see, oh yes, I forgot. There's uh, an escape pod that's in it. And you can put Mando in the escape pod, um, you know, when you have to. I did get the Mando figure early. It was sent out early. Um, I'm not quite sure why. Um, and uh, uh, Max says, this is, uh, this is the same reaction. If I say anything D&D &D related my, my, to my mom, her eyes, just glaze over. Yeah. Yeah. They, you know, they're happy for us, but you know, it's not their passion. So, um, Troy Paselli says it's like a star Wars SUV. And Tom says there should be a button that makes it fall apart. Just like in the show. Yeah. A lot of people have actually said that about, about this particular, um, about this particular, um, spaceship. So, uh, yeah, I guess it is a spaceship, isn't it? Okay. So the way it comes off is, um, Let's see, you lift it up from the front. There's like a little knob and then um, it just lifts out. So yeah, okay. So let's see if I can do it. Cause you know, it takes me a little bit longer than other people to do stuff like this. So, um, you know, it's me. Maybe this is it. Um, ah, look at how easy it pops out. <laughs> But it's me, so. <laughs> oh, Dark Plato says it looks too clean to be a razor crust. I can't wait for you guys to see the cockpit, cockpit area, the cockpit. I love that name. Um, <laughs> so here's the cockpit area. It looks just like it does um, in the show, and I don't know whether you could, they can go through the door. It would be great if you could go through the door, but I don't think so. But it doesn't really matter. It's still so cool looking. Let me get a little closer. Ooh, this is heavy. Um, and <laughs> and you can see that there now. Um, here, the razor crust here. <laughs> can you believe I've been streaming for forty four minutes? It feels like I just opened it up. Um, this there's a emergency like hatch here for when you know there was an emergency this pops off and there's like an escape pod you know you know that's my uh <laughs> that's my interpretation of the escape maybe i should just put it down while i'm doing that because it feels like my arm is gonna break off um it is it is 
guys, it's a substantial weight, like what you would expect for something that costs this much. Um, so this escape hatch, I don't know how to open it, um, but this is the escape hatch. Not hatch, it's an actual escape pod. And um, you can fit a figure inside of it. A figure can fit inside of that. It's a little viewing window. And if something happens to the crest, and we already know that that's already happened, um, you can escape in this escape pod. The figure can fit in that. So um, that was one of the things they said that if the goals were met, everybody would get an escape pod. Well, things didn't work out that way, did it? Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to close that back up if I can somehow. Yeah, I have butterfingers. I admit that. I have a little bit of butterfingers there. So, um, okay. So that's back on there. And let me put the, just so you can see the detail on the cockpit cover. Put the figures in there. I promise you, I will put all the figures in once I get my act together. Um, one of these days. And I will definitely show you guys even more on this beautiful uh, Razor Crest. This is maybe one of the best uh, ships I've ever seen uh, next to my brother's Millennium Falcon. And he will see this and he's going to be like, wow, that's pretty cool. Um, and then of course, on the side, you can see right into um, the Razor Crest there. Here, this is the, one of the gangways. And you can see inside there. Before I close it up, I'll leave that open. So when I open the back, wow, it's heavy. <laughs> Slip there, <laughs> but we're okay. Um, let me just take this out for a second. It's easier to remove this so I can open it. Like I'm sure everybody else will have no problem opening it, but it's for it's me. It's always a little bit harder for me to open stuff. Um, And, okay, so I'm just going to show this back section. I promise you, Darth Plato, I'll get one of those rotating things. I promise you. <laughs> okay. And there we can see in the back. But you can't see it because it's it needs the top off to illuminate it. That's why I didn't put the, I kept the top off so you could see it a little bit better, but Guys, thank you. <laughs> I will be careful, Troy. I'm not going to hold it with one hand anymore. It's too much. Um, let's just see what some of your other comments before I wrap this up. Um, the 1990 Maximilian says, uh, Darth Plato says, it looks too clean to be a razor crest. Okay, I understand that. And uh, Max says the 1995 speeder bike had a button on the back that did that that did that holy crap you you just trigger a core memory of my childhood oh, okay <laughs> oh um that was my jam they blow them up and put them together and then blow them up again yeah definitely um oh and i'm assuming thank you tom for taking care of the uh you know the bot thank you tom um dark Plato says get gina carano and bill burton's characters and sit them in there too yes i definitely want to do that and um Let's see what he says. Um, Max says, you think the escape pod got away from the explosion? I hope it's okay. <laughs> um, and Tom says, yes, please click the like button and subscribe if you want to see more of this particular Razor Crest because I'm going to feature it in a number of different things that I'm doing. And I might have it on display for a little while because I definitely want to show it off because I'm so proud of it. Um, let's see. Uh, Oh, hi, Kathy Pokapidua in the Hawaiian language. Hello there. Uh, Darth Plato says you could fit the Ugnaught and his and his mouse back there. I think I could. I think I could. Um, it's actually making me want to get some more three and a quarter inch figures. I think that's what they're called. Six scale separatist says they really went all out in the detail and it looks fantastic. And it really does. It really does look fantastic. This thing is unbelievably cool looking. I can't get over how cool. I can't believe I own this thing. <laughs> this, this is definitely maybe one of the most amazing things I've ever gotten and absolutely no regrets, even though the ship was blown up, absolutely no regrets. This is really fantastic. What a great thing they made. This is high quality. 
Um, I think if you tried to laser print or do this, you probably spend maybe a thousand dollars trying to recreate the precision and the look of this. I don't think it's super easy to recreate this. I have a smaller model that was around forty dollars, but it doesn't have near the type of detail that this Razor Crest has. I mean, this thing is just phenomenal. I'm so happy with it, and I'm even more happy that you guys uh, got to be here with me uh, to see it. Let me move this this way. It got to be here to see it. Um, let me move it over more closer to me. I'm so glad you guys got a chance to see me uh, look at it and I haven't played with it yet, but I will. Um, looking at the panels on this, they just pop right out. Um, for those of you who, who may already have the uh, HasLab um, uh, barge, I'm sure you know that the quality is amazing. Um, and uh, this person says, um, no problem. <laughs> and yeah, we don't need no stinking bots. Thank you. Um, what? Why did Lucasfilm get rid of the Razor Crest? Um, it would be like shooting your arm off with a shotgun. Yeah, I agree. Um, <laughs> it's really a shame. Um, and Mary, I can't wait for you to get yours today. I know you said it's on its way. Mary, you will not be disappointed, Mary. I wonder if you got the Mando figure before the other ones, because I did. I got the Mando figure that goes with this. Um, and inside of the box was the Grogu figure and the Jawa figure you know, um, that came with it. And as I said, there's a bunch of weapons that come with it. So many weapons that come in this bag and gear and, and things that you can hang on the wall inside the Razor Crest itself, along with these really cool uh, carbonite uh, peeps who uh, didn't escape um, Din Djarin's, uh, Din Djarin's um, grasp. I always say the D in Dijon, I don't know why. Here you can see uh, this creature here, he's in carbonite. And this one as well that comes with it. And they hang from the ceiling. I'm gonna show this again. They hang from the ceiling of this structure inside of it. They actually slide, they hang from the ceiling, um, just like they demonstrated. You can hook these onto these uh, things here. They hook on and they actually slide back and forth they slide to the to the right when they're in storage, but then when you want to when they want to disembark them from the razor crest, they they slide backwards. So that I thought that was a nice touch and very authentic. And what we saw in the film, especially, I can't believe I have the the toilet too. Like this is, you know, I think they said this is the first time you ever saw a toilet on a ship. But um, you know, I think they did such a great job with this. Um, I'm so thrilled with how this came out. I don't know how you guys feel. Um, some of you have said it's amazing. Um, and, uh, let's see. Hey, uh, Kathy says, I mean, it's a cool ship and I love models. I have an old enterprise a muscle, a model that's suffered over the years. So I need a new one. Yes, you do. Those old enterprise models are fantastic. Um, and she says, I think, I don't know if it's a man or, oh, Tom, Hawaiian language. I think the day before they announced the Razor Crest, that's when they blew it up. Yeah. It was around the time they were still selling it on it. Um, and they they look like hung up shirts, don't they? Though <laughs> hung up shirts that have been pressed very 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 stiff. Um, oh, Mary says she says I did not get the Mandro separately. I hope it's in the box when it arrives. You know, double check on that, Mary. I got mine separately. I got it uh, in a shipment from Haslab um, a few months ago, and I was very surprised. I'm like, well, the the thing's not here yet. So um, I hope you get yours, Mary. I don't want to alarm you. Um, yours may be inside the box, okay? Um, thank you, Basco Scenario. Wow, that looks great. I'm just going to hold it up again, Basco, so you can see if you're still there, how big this thing actually is. Look at this. This is my head. <laughs> and it's nice and heavy. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit closer. And you can see the side of it. This is my hand, so you can imagine how big this thing is. It's a probably it's probably seven five to seven pounds. I'm not really a good um, a person who can tell you how much things weigh, but what I can say is that um, you know on the side here you can see you can see inside there where uh, everything is. There's also a laboratory, and someone was asking. There is that hatch where Grogu um, would be resting. It's in here. There's a hatch where Grogu is, uh, where he normally would sleep. 
sometimes. Um, let's see. Troy says, Troy says, positive fandom. I just confirmed with mine. The Grogu figure has the ball molded in his hand. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, it's very, 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 very tiny in his little hand. I don't think I can get close enough for you to see it, but even I can't see it, but there's a little ball in his hand and that's why I couldn't see, um, that's why I couldn't see it. Um, and thank you, Troy, for, for mentioning that. I do see he, he's holding on tight to that ball, um, there. So thank you, Troy, for, for letting me know. Um, and uh kathy says yeah those are often i did not know they were selling it oh okay yes about a year ago um that it was there i'm going to show it to you one more time bosco uh before i close out this stream um you guys have been so great to come out and, and share this with me because nobody i don't know anybody else um here who would be excited to get it um and even really knows about it other than you all who i kind of spend a lot of time with so um and also there is a stand that uh that comes with it i don't know if i can get to it wow it must be huge it's underneath it it's turning i didn't know there was anything underneath of course it's taped in but let's see There's a stand. It says Star Wars, the Mandalorian. It's a, it's, it's a piece of plastic. It's not the, the greatest stand like, it, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm not going to like lose my mind over that. So this part goes in here, or maybe this side like that. And then there's another plastic piece for the stand that goes in here. So it's there. This holds a razor crest. I think you have to take it. Um, I think you have to remove the lace. I'm not sure in order for it to hold the razor crest properly, but I I didn't set it up so that we could see the stand. But there is a stand um, that comes with it. So you know, if you don't want it to stand on the legs and you want it to be on a proper stand, you could do that. But um, yeah, this razor crest is amazing. Another thing, personal feelings. That I don't know how you're gonna fit. <laughs> What does he say? Um, hi, Max. Another thing, personal feelings aside, I don't know how you are going to fit this many features or neat details you see in the ship on the new one. Like I see room for one or two hatches. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Um, that is very true. That is very true. And I I agree. Um, <laughs> that is very true. So uh, let me just take that down so I can show more. Uh, if I can hide that. Oh, this is a good point. Tom says I could use some small LED lights to light it up. That'd be cool. You know, that'd be nice. It's, it's something I really have to think about, isn't it, guys? Uh, you know, where I'm going to go in regards to having this um, this razor press and where it will go. Um, so, but anyway, guys, I just want to say thank you for taking the time out to come and see the razor press. Um, I really do appreciate you coming out and looking at me, enjoying it, and just being a part of this. Um, it's very nice to have, you know, you all here. Oh, here. Hello. Um, I'm sorry, Mary. I apologize. Mary, I sure hope you're still there because this was in there. Mary, please say something so I know. Oh, Mary, thank you. Mary, um, I apologize. Guess who was inside the box? <laughs> hey, Wakashasi Tea House. Good morning. How are you? Uh, thank you for joining me and everyone else here. Here we go, Mary. It was inside the box. Now, the figure that I might be thinking about is a Grief Karga figure that was sent separately, um, I'm guessing, uh, but I'm not sure. But here is the Mando figure. And he was not in in the in a container. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mary. I didn't mean to alarm you. This is so I apologize. But um, here's the Mando figure, and you can see him. He looks pretty cool. Um, 
yeah uh he's actually kind of very flexible for a figure like this um but i wouldn't push the joints too tight or too far um you can see him here he's gonna hold him a little closer and see what he looks like there and he also comes with a weapon which is wrapped which i'm going to unwrap I'm gonna unwrap this now and of course it's his gun so oops here's the gun or a rifle is a special name for the rifle so i apologize for not knowing the rifle name oh oh and the pack <laughs> that goes on the back of mando so okay let's i would put it on he has a cape on but um that was actually something a lot of people asked about. It's like, if he's wearing a cape, how can he wear that? Um, we don't know. But I I don't mind that he wears that. So let's see if I can put that in here. All right. The jetpack is on Mando. But he also has a cape on. So, you know, we're just going to... Let's say he takes off the cape. And he has a jetpack on. So, so that makes more sense. There. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you, Max. Okay. I will do that. I will drop the cape to the left. They put the cape back. The cape is back on him and I will drop the cape. Let's see. To the right, to the left. Okay. I hope I did that right. So that way it does not bother him too much. Let's push that back in. So I dropped the cape to the left a little bit and I shouldn't have taken it off of him, but um, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> the cape is dropped to the left. Um, you know, it's not perfect, but I kind of dropped it to the left as you recommended. And then of course he has his weapon here and I guess the weapon might up, there might be a, a place in the back that you could put his gun on him. And I just want to put him inside the cockpit if I can open this up again. So let's see if I can bend his legs and put him in there. Somehow I have to take off that. Get him in there. He is in there. And I feel like I have to open the Grogu. I have to open the Grogu and get him in there too. So let's do that. Okay. Well, they have Grogu in there good. So this is the this is the um, pod that he comes with. That is also in there, nice. Great. <laughs> Look at how cute this little pod that they give you is. It's all shiny. <laughs> TK five ninety two. I'm gonna get another one. It's okay. TK five nine two. He's like, no, don't open it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> don't open the Grogu. <laughs> I'm probably going to give my mother this, this smaller one because what she does is that she takes the smaller Grogu's and she puts them in her purse and she keeps them. And then, hey, one six scale, man, how are you? Hey, how are you doing? Thanks for joining me. Um, and we have Grogu here. And now Mikey Leto, um, I think you can see the ball in his hand. It's really tiny, Mike. It's super tiny. I mean, it's really, really very small, but I'm gonna zoom him in. There's Grogu. I'll take myself out of the picture, but. <laughs> And then if I put him in here, 
my mother will love this. Like she'll love this little model with him inside the, uh, the pod. She will love that. Like she loves these little things. So you can see him kind of in there. Sorry, TK592. <laughs> I understand why you don't want me to open it. Like I get that. I totally get that. But I wanted to put him in the cockpit if I could. I don't think he'll stay in there. I think he'll fall out because he's so tiny, but um, that's okay. So um, just put this away. And I'm going to show you uh, Grogu and Mando in the cockpit because that's why we're here, right? I mean, we want to see them in there. We want to see them happy and together and all that sort of stuff. Like we got to see, unbelievably, um, this season. And I don't know about you, but I was surprised. I didn't know we were going to see all this. I'm still in shock over what I saw this season. Uh, hey, Doc Smizzle, how are you? And we got uh, Six Scale Separatist. Hey, he is so cute, isn't he, Mikey? He is so cute. He's just a little cutie. Um, <laughs> um, let's see who else is here. Doc Smizzle. I'm sorry, Doc Smizzle. I know you guys didn't want me to do that. I am so sorry, but I had to open it. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oops. <laughs> All right. So here is the cockpit. I'm going to put him back there, but he won't stay in there, will he? No, he won't. But you can see Mando in the cockpit there. <laughs> I think that looks fantastic. <laughs> and, you know, when it's on a level surface, I could show you uh, Grogu in there. And I promise you, I will. I will actually show you Grogu in the cockpit with Mando at some point when they are together in there. Let's put this back on there if I can. Guys, the quality, for those of you who picked this up and are getting this later today, the quality is absolutely incredible. This is the best quality I've seen in ages. HasLab makes such a great, um, they make such a great uh, product. It was worth the money. It was definitely worth the money. And I was going to say, I haven't seen anything of this quality since my brother's Millennium Falcon in the 80s. So um, it's actually so heavy. I have trouble holding it up. <sighs> and here's the back part. There's like a part where um, the back cargo area. <sighs> wow, it is heavy. I'm dropping pieces are coming off. Um, I'm just going to pop open this top part again so we can see inside it'll illuminate it a little bit better. This top part comes off. Okay. And then this part is the bay, the back bay. And you can see all the way in there, guys. You can even see the area for Grogu where he would be. And the latrine, and you can see where their weapons would go. <laughs> and you could also see that above as well. <laughs> oh my God, it's heavier. It's heavier than what it looks like, but that's good, right? It's heavier than what it looks like. That's good, right? <laughs> I know, right? Um, it says, uh, that, that cool, they did a vacation, uh, a vacation metal prime. Yeah. Yeah. It is very cool looking. Look at that. That does look cool. Six scale separatist. Whew. And, um, let's see if you put your hand, what were you saying, Tom? behind it, it will focus more on Grogu. Oh yes, that's true. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that I, it didn't focus on. Oh, okay. Don't worry. I was just playing. <laughs> What's the point in burying all this stuff if we don't have uh, freedom from the packaging? Very true. Um, and Troy Pacelli is saying, yeah, we need way more uh, vac metal figs and accessories. Yeah. This looks so cool. Look at that. It has a cover. There's a cover that, that completes it. And it is also that metal, that metal look. The cover that goes on here that closes it like a lid so it's the, the pod i don't it's not right here it's uh there's like a pod piece inside of there and i'm sorry i didn't get it 
Um, hey, Mary's asking, did I get the bag of weapons and put them in the weapon storage already? I did not put them all away yet, Mary. Uh, the bag is here and I still have to put them inside. It's quite a few weapons, um, which is fantastic. I wasn't expecting to get any this quantity, but um, no, I didn't put it inside yet. Um, I will um, at some point, but I have not done that yet. So the answer to that is no, I didn't put them all away yet. Um, and the bag is here somewhere. <laughs> there's so much, um, there's, oh, here it is. Here's the bag. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So here's the bag of weapons. It's a lot. There's a lot of pieces in here. I'm really surprised with what they gave. Um, and it's going to be so much fun figuring out where everything goes. And, um, if anybody ever comes over here, if my, my best friend comes over, he's going to say, no, that's not where that goes. That's a short range, uh, rifle that should go on the right, you know, so, <laughs> you know, um, let's see what they're saying. Oh, and, uh, Doc's missile says missed out on Cara Dune vintage collection carbonized looks like BBTS had a run on the vintage collection after its release. Yeah, I know. Um, but that's okay. It, Wakasashi says it looks heavy. It is heavy. It's heavy. <laughs> Maybe it's more like 10 pounds, but I'm not quite sure. But, you know, it looks so cool. Look at it. Let's see inside. You can just see all the way down. You can see the laboratory. You can see inside here. I can go even closer. There. Sorry. <laughs> you can see inside. And then let's look on the other side here. <laughs> it is pretty heavy. <laughs> I'm just kind of laughing because I'm having trouble holding it. Um, it's not the heaviest model ever made, but it's heavy for me. So, okay, let's put this down like this. Ooh. You can see it there. And um, <laughs> yeah, I want Grogu to have a little uh, Mandalorian helmet with his ears sticking out too. And um, Let's see. I go to friends' houses and mess with their setups. Do you really, Max? Do you? <laughs> because I'll swap the faces. <laughs> Aw. Oh, yes. Hi, Paul from Long Beach. Somebody's happy today. Yes, I am very happy with this because this is a birthday gift that was bought for me, uh, for my family. So um, to finally see it all come together, um, you know, it's kind of like when you wait so long for something and... I knew it was coming. It's just that I kept getting these emails from HasLab that said, oh, it's almost done and it's been postponed. And I'm like, postponed? You already postponed it once or twice. You can't postpone it again. But they did. And then um, I did just want to show you that this side, on the side here, this pop, this, this whole thing pops off so you have access. But there's also that, you know, like when they walk in and out of the ship here as well. So, um so you can use that as well. It looks very much like it's it's really almost an exact replica of what the ship looks like. And then you just pop this back on the other way, of course. <laughs> and it goes on. I think the job of the hut barge panels pop on and off like this too. So um, so that's also a very similar thing. And then um, let's see. And then you can close the back, which I'm gonna do. <laughs> I don't have the panel on right, but squish it on. Ugh. Okay. Well, I'm sure there's a way you're supposed to put it on, but I haven't put it on correctly yet. So, um, so that's my razor crest, guys. Um, I did want to thank you all for coming out to enjoy the moment with me. Um, you know, none of this stuff is fun alone. Nobody is an island, so um, it means a lot to me for you guys to see uh, me enjoy uh, looking at the razor press and opening it. And I can't wait for you guys out there who are going to get yours soon, like Mary said she's getting one. Um, and uh, hey, Zacharot, Zacharot 315. Hey, hey, how are you? Yeah, thank you so much. Um, <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, uh, Mikey Leto. Yeah, I am really happy with this. 
Um, thank you so much uh, for everything. Thanks, guys, for coming out and joining me uh, on getting my Razor Crest. Finally, I have the Razor Crest. Um, it looks amazing. Um, I'm probably going to show it tonight on, um, and maybe uh, maybe some of the other people who are streaming tonight with me would have received their Razor Crest. It looks small. It is not small. It is big, um, just so you know. Um, and as I said, it comes with these cool accessories, these carbonite accessories that go into the Razor Crest itself. You get Mando. You get a little Grogu. Let's see if I'm out of the picture. Will that work better? You get a little Grogu. You get a little Grogu. Right there, you get a Mando, you get a Grogu. And you also get the Carbonite, four pieces of Carbonite Frozen Bounty. So you're already on your way. This cool uh, pram, it comes with a lid. I just don't have the lid in front of me. You get a ton of weapons. Um, you get the escape hatch, which is here. This pops off. And there's an escape hatch here. There's like, a, or a pod, escape pod, that Mando can fit into. I don't know how to open it just now, but there's a way you open it and he fits in and he can use it to escape. I didn't know there was an escape pod on the, on here. Um, but you know, they advertise it that way. So Mando can fit in here or anybody could fit in here, I guess. And escape, you know, it pops off, you know, in the event of an emergency. You, that came with it. Um, you also get a Jawa, which I'll just show you really quickly. I remember this Jawa here. You get a Jawa as well with the egg. Suka, Suka. <laughs> a Jawa figure with the egg. And um, he's plastic. He's not the furry version of the Jawa, but you get an, un an unopened egg and then an opened egg. So he gets to enjoy that. It says he's off-world Jawa elder. He's an off-world Jawa elder. So um, yeah. <laughs> And this says Grogu. So if it says Grogu rather than baby, you know, the child, then that means that they knew about this, um, about his real name for a long time, right? Right, guys? Um, so maybe these were printed after they found out that he wasn't just the child anymore. He was actually Grogu, the Razor Crest version. So, and um, this is the stand. You can see how big it is. Um, I, I'm not going to try and fit him on this it on the stand now because what I want to do is get Darth Vader suggested that I get something that rotates, and then I could use this um, put the stand on a rotating platform, and so I could kind of see it in a more three dimensional way. Um, <laughs> and uh, Paul from <laughs> oh thank you. Uh, I'm just going to read some of these super chats uh, uh, before I end the, the stream. Paul from Lump Reach says somebody's happy today. I am very happy, Paul. Um, and, uh, Max had told us about how he likes to swap out things and, uh, Mikey says, yes, she is. Um, and Wakasashi says, uh, it's dope. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> it's incredible looking. Um, <laughs> am I smiling, Paul? <laughs> I was unaware. Um, <laughs> and, uh, thank you, Zacharot, uh, 315. Uh, it is great. Isn't it? Isn't it fun? You know, this is what we're trying to do. Max says it's his dream. And Troy says to Max, um, uh, I used to do that too. I'd call a friend, uh, my friend Stan, and he'll say, my brother asked if you'd been by, saw that uh, what you did with G.I. Joe and Barbie. I love that. <laughs> um, Max says for season three will be that his ship gets blown up or heavily damaged. And somehow he gets a new Razor Crest, like the vintage in the box, and gets his. It's new. Yeah, I suppose so. Um, and Mike Alito says, hey, uh, it's great seeing good people happy. Thank you, Mike Alito. And Tom Tudor Jackson, who is my collaborator and my moderator, says, thank you all for coming out and watching and joining in the conversation on behalf of Positive Phantom and myself. We hope you come back again. And as always, remember to be kind because we are all goof people, right? We are all goof people. Um, Mary Sullivan says, very cool. Thank you, Mary. Can't wait for you to get yours. I know yours is coming soon. <laughs> and Doc Smizzle says, thanks for letting me enjoy the Razor Crest with you. Well, thank you for stopping by, Doc Smizzle. Thank you. It re means a lot for you guys to uh, stop by and enjoy it with me. Uh, just on behalf of, of everybody in the PGS and the fandom and everybody that we really 
uh, enjoy. Um, let's see. Uh, Doc Smizzle says, can't wait for mine on Monday. Doc Smizzle, you are going to love it. Um, yes, we are all good people. Single Songwriter says, thank you for showing us this awesome razor crest. Well, you are welcome. And thank you, Single Songwriter, for always knowing the answer to like every Star Wars question. You're kind of like the go-to guy um, who, who knows all the answers. Thank you for always answering my questions. Ciao for now. See you later, Mikey Leto. And um, <laughs> best part is, is carbonized KK. Well, you know, you never know. <laughs> You never know. It could be any one of these two, right? <laughs> you never know, <laughs> right? Okay. Um, and uh, TK592, thanks for opening it up. I'll be waiting for you to deliver. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, uh, Troy says, positive fandom, what are the VC numbers on the back of those figures? Um, I don't know. I will tell you now. Now, the Mando, he didn't come in a box, Troy. But the Jawa, is this what you're talking about, Troy? Is it this, is it this number here? I, I, I don't know if that's the, the number. And then there's one more on this one for the Grogu one. And it says has uh zero zero one let me know troy if that's the number you're talking about um yeah doc smizzle says i need to get some electric lazy susans me too but you need to get a heavy duty one because um it's heavy oh you can get them on amazon for eight dollars and a single songwriter says i'm looking forward to some of the photos of your razor crest after you have it all set up on display i certainly will be showing that with pride um, acid for blood looks great. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you so much. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah. Acid for blood. Yes. Um, somehow the razor crest has returned do, 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 do. <laughs> and Mary Sullivan. Yes, Mary. Thank you so much for, for doing that. I wasn't quite sure if that's what, what, what Troy was asking. It's has one and has two. Um, and it says, uh, they don't do no, no, thank God's no more cutouts. Um, has rather than C than VC. Yes, that's thank you. That's very interesting. I'm not quite sure why uh, it says has rather than VC, but um, so this is the last time, guys. This is the Razor Crest just bringing it to me, so you can see how big this thing is. This is me, and this is the Razor Crest. It's a substantial weight. Um, it looks amazing. It's got a silvery look like Mando's armor almost, but it's not super super shiny. It's got the similar painting striations and design along the side. It looks very strong. There's a cop pick there. Mando can fit in there and so can Grogu. In fact, I have Mando in there right now. If you look, you can see him kind of in there, just sitting there at the, the Razor Crest. Um, and as I said, there's the inside that the top pops off with an escape hatch. You can also see uh, in the side of the Razor Crest by this hatch that pops off um, here which I'm, I can't get it to pop off right now, but this pops off and then there's, there's uh, an actual bay thing that comes down here as well as on the back, the back hatch, <laughs> this hangs over so much. Um, it really is an impressive model. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> like keep it out for a while though um, and just kind of play with it. And my mother wants to see it, so I have to bring it over to her. And she's going to go, wow. And you know what she's going to say? Can I get one? <laughs> she will say that. Guys, thank you so much to everybody uh, who showed up today. And um, Acid for Bloods is waiting for BBTS to ship their stock, although I'm in Australia. So it may take a while. Yes. Okay. Well, um, thank you for coming for uh, for this for my first, uh, you know, view of the Razor Crest. Here you can see Mando in the cockpit here. And I couldn't be happier. I'm just gonna put, uh, where is he? I'm gonna put Grogu in there. My little Grogu behind Mando. You can't see that part because he's too far in there. But he's behind him and he's very happy in there. Um, guys, I just wanna say for everybody who came out, thank you so much for watching. 
Um, I really enjoyed getting this razor crest. I'm just going to have to look at it for the rest of the day and enjoy myself. Guys, please stay safe. And always remember, um, always remember as you're out there in the world and you're seeing other people, always remember to please be kind and take care, everybody. This is the way.